Let's talk today about putting first things first. And I'm going to teach you my method of prioritizing so that you do get things done. In the Message Bible, Romans 13, 13 says this, We cannot afford to waste a minute. We must not squander these precious daylight hours in frivolity and indulgence, in sleeping and in dissipation, in bickering and grabbing everything in sight. Dress yourselves in Christ and be up and about. First things first, it is about getting things done that we really want to get done in life. These words are easy to speak, but they're hard to do in practice. Why? Because so many people are expecting so many things from you. You go to work in the morning and then someone comes in with a new project for you to do. And if you're having trouble, like I used to have trouble prioritizing, well, perhaps you've been trying to organize your life according to your plans and not God's. Now, here's what I did. I used the ABC system. The A prioritize things that absolutely have to be done. If they're not done, disaster will fall around you. Those are the A priority items. Then you have the B. The B are very, very important, but in a last case scenario, they could be put off until at least tomorrow. The C are things that you want to do, but they can, they can wait a while. Now, I was honest with myself, and I saw making up my to-do list, I would have many C priorities, and I would spend the majority of my time on C items. When I shifted my focus to only A items, I got a thousand times more done. But also, you bring prayer into the mix in a very important way. You make your list for the following day, the night before. Then you pray about your list and say to God, God, show me a better way. Sleep on it. You'll be surprised how many times you wake up in the morning, you'll see a B item or a C item that you have overlooked in your consciousness and you shift that up in priority. You make it an A item. There have been many times that I've overlooked something that God gave me the idea during the night that this was important, and it became the most important thing sometimes that I've ever done. And it is something that I, as Chris Chenoweth, would have been blind to if it hadn't have been for God. So, Make your to-do list. Then write your priorities next to them. A, B, C. And then pray about it, sleep on it, and look at it again the next morning as you pray before you begin your day. You'll become a thousand times more effective in life. It is a strategy to take your daily obligations and place them in the hands of the one that created you. And in so doing, you prioritize your day according to God's wishes, not yours. You seek God's will and God's wisdom in all the matters of your life. And when you face your new day, you do it with the assurance that the same God that created the universe and created the universe out of nothingness will help you put first things first in your life. To take some things that are nothing now and make them something with the creation of God. Now, when you do this, expect your life to change. 
Expect your life to have movement. Expect your life to accomplish more than you've accomplished in the past. And also, you're going to find something else, that it's no longer a struggle, that it becomes fun. God bless you.